What's up guys, Straven76 MBJ here, and today we are playing Lord of the Rings Return to Moria. Um, so, this is um, a survival game set in Middle-earth. Um, I have my, my dwarf already set up. It's a little world. <clears throat> so it's your standard uh, survival. You start out at minimum, uh, actually nothing. Uh, you go around, collect some basic uh, resources, some wood, stone, iron, and stuff, uh, metal, and such. Um, the initial tutorial teaches you how to do your, ba your basic mechanics of the game. Uh, introductory skills, do this, do that, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then you, further along the tutorial, you get this plot here, which is uh, always help post. And your tasks to make it livable again. I read up on it and apparently I've done s I haven't done enough so I am what I'm gonna do is clear this rubble and replace the walls with actual walls that are not broken. So that's just a collect resources. The environment is mostly indestructible, so you can actually go around clear a lot, clearing up lots of stuff. There are mobs that freely spawn. Um, rats. Certain spots, you have these veg vegetables and stuff that grows, collect them. Light plays a major factor in this game, so you need to carry torches or create light, light sources. this wall stone wall Wait. matter what side not the same looks like it snaps into place initial door here. I'm going to make another barrier here. Although the tutorials online say to build a barricade, but I think I am going to do I think I built more off. It's the pop. So maybe we will do a barricade. Some stone barrier. Light plays a major factor. Um, apparently, you get a buff for being in the lower left hand corner. There's that um, dial over there. 
how much light you are in matters because you can see if you stay in the darkness too long, you actually suffer a penalty. Also, certain plants that you find only grow in the light, as certain plants only grow in the dark as well, so there's that. I had a little taste of combat. Not really combat, I was just attacking mobs. Uh, the rats. <laughs> there aren't real combat, combat system yet. There are roaming mobs that can fight. Use existing structures. Uh, broke that, that walkway up there by accident. I'll fix that. I want to keep going. But there's also existing uh, workbenches, I guess you can call them. Obviously, once you get to a higher level or a better equipment, you can repair these. Of course, steel hammer requires that. And that. So you have your your standard foods, raw materials like, and then you can cook them, and they give you better bonuses. There's that, and of course you can upgrade certain certain things, um, like the weapons, the equipment, or repair them, not upgrade them. Iron. Maybe anything ready. So I'm at I'm plateaued at this point right now. I need to go explore more. Increase my tech level. So this is the initial outpost that you're given. I'm gonna plan on expanding outwards. build another hearth further out just so I can continue expanding outward just this is the limit. So I think if I put a hearth here I should be able to Archers attacking. Interesting. 
wait for daylight. over here just so I could go out more. There's dots. So I'm in the building perimeter. Uh huh. Look at that. Stuff you learn. So I'm not going to actually use this. that the wall torches are actually better than standing torches. Alright, so we've got plenty of light. Alright, so I can build outwards if I need to. Maybe I can build a staircase going up. Maybe. Okay, I read also that we're supposed to be repairing this stuff. source here. Each section is usually walled off by a wall of dirt. Luckily, you can get stone from
piece of this. I've yet to go on to explore anything further. I did see that there was this house here. So I accidentally destroyed the staircase. And <laughs> the walls came crum crumbling down. This was a nice looking bar until I accidentally wrecked it. So now I'm just cannibalizing. But should I choose? I could drop a hearth in here and make it a base. I don't know how to open the door though, because. To explore. I like the fact that it, it is in Middle Earth.
axles. That's a good thing. You can put the pallets down. The wood pallet, stone pallet. You could drop all, all the resources in there instead of storing it. Save valuable space. You can build everything as long as you're within the chest range. other statues to gain, gain new recipes. And let's see what we can do about shoring up the fences here. I guess now that I built that. over there, I could put it out a little bit more. There we go. I think that's exactly where I had it the first <laughs> Oh well, it looks better now. Initial thoughts about this game is that it's pretty cool. Um, it is like other survival uh, base building um, type of games out there. I hate to say it's just you know a typical survival with a Lord of the Rings skin on there, but that's basically what it is. It's and if you find those enjoyable, like I do, um, then this is right up your alley. can have up to eight players playing together, which I think this it would be pretty sick having other people helping you, or a bunch of dwarves just duking it out with orcs and goblins. I think that'd be pretty cool. But there's lots to explore, and I'm still on the basic technology tree, so there is a lot to, to learn on, expand on. My first impressions are very positive. I can't wait to continue playing this for more hours and hopefully I can get people to join me and of course I have more gameplay footage. But until then, this is Draven76MDJ saying thank you for watching and I will see you next time.